Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper. And Sig Sauer as a company is notorious for having a ton of different SKUs for every one of their firearms. And the P320 and P365 lines are no exception. And when it comes to choosing a good concealed carry pistol, things like weight and overall length are important when you're trying to figure out what you can easily conceal and comfortably carry every single day. So I thought I would go ahead and compare the P320 X Carry, P320 X Compact, and P365 X Macro to show you the slight differences between each model and to give you something to consider when you're trying to choose a good concealed carry pistol for yourself. Really quickly, we want to thank the biggest supporter of the channel, which is Midway USA. Big thanks to them for always helping me get out on the range, test these different firearms, throw some ammo and lead down range, and not feel so bad about it. So big thanks to Midway USA. Obviously, they have everything you could want when it comes to P320s or P365s. And let's get back to the video. All right, first up is the Sig Sauer M18, which is the same configuration as a P320X carry, which basically means you get a full-size grip with a 17-round flush fit magazine and a compact slide, which I really like this configuration because you do get that grip purchase, which gives you really good recoil management, and that compact slide is nice for saving some weight as well as making it a little bit easier to conceal carry in certain circumstances. From the factory, this comes in at 28.1 ounces in weight, and that's with an unloaded magazine inserted into the grip well. And then also is 1.6 inches wide, except for this model has a Wilson Combat WCP320 grip module on it, which slims it down a little bit and makes that width closer to about one and a half inches, if not one and three eighths of an inch. So definitely slims the pistol up quite a bit if you change the grip out, but from the factory with the standard grip module, it'll be 1.6 inches wide. This has a 3.9 inch barrel, so very similar to a Glock 19, and this is basically the Glock 19X configuration. And then it has a 7.2 inch overall length. So this is definitely the largest handgun that I'm gonna discuss right now, but still not huge by any means. And then it has a 5.5 inch height. Now what is interesting is that unloaded with no magazine, this weighs 24.3 ounces in its current configuration. So that'll matter later when we're comparing it to the other two firearms, but I just wanted to mention that now. And next we have the P320X Compact, which is kind of an interesting little hybrid. So this is basically a Glock 19 in the sense that it is a compact, grip, as you can see, my pinky kind of slides off the bottom a little bit there, just like it does on a Glock 19. And it has a 15 round flush fit magazine, which is what you would have with a Glock 19. However, this has almost like a subcompact slide that's only running a 3.6 inch barrel, whereas the M18 X Carry has a 3.9 inch barrel. So I find this to be kind of interesting as even a Glock 19 has a four inch barrel. So this is good to go. And it comes from the factory at a weight of 25.3 ounces. So it is lighter than the M18 or the X-Carry. And then it's a 1.3 inch width as well, which is definitely improved compared to the standard factory grip on the other P320 models. But in comparison to the Wilson Combat, it's just about uh, maybe a 10th of an inch uh, slimmer than a WCP320 grip module would be. So. Like I said, the barrel on this is 3.6 inches, which is interesting. So you save, you know, 0.3 inches off of the slide length in the barrel compared to the X carry. And then it has a seven inch overall length and a 5.3 inch height. Now, in this configuration with no magazine inserted, it weighs 22.3 ounces. So it's a solid two ounces lighter than the M18. So you do save some weight, you save a little bit of size in the sense of uh, barrel length, slide length, overall length, and height. So it is smaller and probably a little bit easier to conceal, but not by a whole lot. It's definitely the exact medium of these two firearms when it comes to all those specifications. So lastly, we have the P365X Macro. Now this would be similar to like the TAC Ops because it's not the comped version. This is a full size slide and barrel. So it is gonna be a little different than the original X Macro comp that came out. However, everything else is gonna be the same as like the TAC Ops where you have the full size barrel and, and standard slide. So this from the factory will come in at 22 ounces with an unloaded inserted magazine. So very very light compared to the other two firearms right off the bat. Now, you get a 17 round full size magazine in this tiny gun, which is very impressive. So 17 rounds here. So two more rounds than you get with the X Compact. And this is safe and good to go. And then it's kind of, Hard to compare it to something like the M18 because the slide is around the same size as the X Compact, but then the grip is around the same size as the M18 or the 320X Carry because it is accommodating a 17 round magazine, but it's still very thin. So this comes in at a 1.1 inch width, which is just extremely thin. We're talking 
right around the same vein as like a 1911 if you were to take the grip panels off. I mean, this thing is really thin. When you compare it to the X Compact, you can see that even though this is 1.3 inches, that 0.2 inches does make quite a difference, especially if you're trying to deep conceal or something, that slimness of the P365 might come in handy. So set down the X Compact again. Now, it has a 3.7 inch barrel, and if you had the comped model, it would have a 3.1 inch barrel. However, the slide is where the comp is, so the slide is still the same length on both models either way. So regardless, it's gonna take up the same amount of space, be the same overall length. It might be a little bit lighter if you have a comped model because the slide has cuts in it and the barrel shorter, but in reality, it's still a very lightweight gun. The overall length on this gun is 6.6 .6 inches and the height is 5.2 inches. So everything about this gun is smaller than the other two you see right here. And it, with, an un, with no magazine, but still having the optic and the light mounted on it weighs 21.6 ounces, which means with an optic and a light, this gun is still lighter than this gun and this gun, which is pretty impressive. Now, that does make some differences when it comes to shooting because this is so light that it doesn't handle recoil quite as well as something like the M18. So if you're trying to figure out which one to conceal carry, it's really difficult because each one brings something to the table in the sense of capability and compromise. This is the perfect middle when it comes to everything, weight, uh, overall size, and even shootability. I mean, this shoots a little bit better than this. However, it's still not shooting as good as this, and it's still not as lightweight or as small as this. So. Everything is a compromise. I just figured I would show you the differences and kind of just line these up for everyone to see. These two slides, you have the 3.9 inch versus the 3.6 inch, so barely a difference, and the width and everything is just about the same on these, so uh, nothing too crazy going on there, but I just figured I would kind of show you that. And then if you wanna see that versus the P365, you have the 3.7 inch in the P365 versus the 3.6 in the P320, so very similar slide lengths and everything else, but the width, is very noticeably different. So, this could be a tough one. And that's why I wanted to share this with you because even when I'm going through some of my pistols to figure out what I'm carrying next or what I'm going to uh, use for like more of a go-to handgun, these questions come up and I figured I might as well share some of this information to help anybody else out there. If you have any questions for me, you can go to magicprepper.com or leave comments below. Let me know which one of these you might have chosen or which one you would choose or why you wouldn't choose any of them. And I'm sure I'll get a ton of excellent P320 related comments down below because all of you are great at reminding me of everything related to that. And if you need anything else, you can always go to Subscribestar. It's five bucks a month, but you get direct priority messaging. You also get some preparedness incentives and uh, some other great stuff as well. So anything else you need from me, you know what to do. And besides that, that's going to be it for Magic Prepper.